Hey guys, it's your boy Michael with the H&M Reviews channel and today we're gonna see if the portable jump starter cables are interchangeable with other brand portable jump starters. Let's get into it. Okay, right now we are simulating a dead battery in the 2004 Cadillac DeVille. Uh, everyone who watches our channel knows all about the, two, uh, the 2004 Cadillac DeVille V8. We right now have the, the Fox Speed. We have the Fox Speed hooked up. Obviously you see one cable. This battery is a good battery. However, in order to do this test, we had to simulate a bad battery. The other one is hooked up, which you also see the red cable from the, the Fox Speed is hooked up. Now what we are gonna do is we're gonna, here's the other, here's the negative. We're gonna take the negative from the Fox Speed. We're gonna hook it up, obviously, okay. You saw some sparkage there, and it is showing 15.2 volts. Keep in mind the Fox Speed does not have a boost button. Okay, all the the less popular portable jump starters do not have a boost button. Give me a second. I think it timed out. Give me a second. Just when we got in the car. Yeah, you're gonna probably have to take. I think bear with me. Okay, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to see voltage on here in order for it to hang on a sec, bear with me guys. Hang on a second. I'm gonna do this. I can only do one thing at a time on here since I have the one hand going, you know, unfortunately. Let me take the Okay, and now we're gonna put it back in. Boom. Oops, hang on guys, hang on. Okay, we're gonna see a little sparkage showing 15.2 volts on the Fox Speed. I hear the chiming. This unit does not have a boost button, like I just mentioned. All right, and it usually works pretty well. Car started up on the first shot, the very first shot. This is with the Fox Speed without the boost button. And it's showing it's delivering 14.9 to 15 volts. So we are just gonna take the positive off and the negative off. Okay. Actually what I should have done, I should have kept the positive on, because they do tell you to put the positive on first. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the Fox speed. Okay going to disconnect the Fox Speed module okay bear with me guys okay here's the Fox Speed we're gonna put it over to the side there now let's try the amazing okay the amazing IM27 with the Fox Speed G29 cable module we are seeing if they're interchangeable now again we're gonna pull the module out a little bit to reset it and put it back in that resets it Okay, you hear the module clicking, it means it's de delivering power. Try it again, guys. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, it, it did start up. <laughs> okay, it did start up. It did work. This is the Fox P G29 Smart Cable hooked up to the IM27 from iMazing. See it? This is in fact the same module, the smart module and cables for the Fox PG29. Okay, they do work. Okay, let's, let's shut the car off this time. Let's not make the same mistakes as we did before. Okay. Okay, so shut the car off. It did take a couple of tries, but it finally started. I just wanted to see, because I've been hearing a lot of stuff, how the, uh, how the smart cables from other brands are not interchangeable with other brands, which you can see why, you know, that because they want you to buy their brand. <laughs> so, okay, let's, uh, let's take, this is the amazing, we just, we just unplugged everything. Now let's just try the Avapound 6000 amp. 
That's, that's the only way to do this. You have to take it in and out. Oops. Put it back in. Okay, 15.7 volts. See, okay, see that, see that. Everything's hooked up. 15.6. Okay, you hear the clicking, you hear the module working on the smart cables. All right, now it does sound like this power. Doesn't mean anything though. And the car started right up again. I guess these jumper cables are interchangeable if you're in a pinch. Okay, it's uh, showing 14.5 volts it's letting out. See, there's, okay, see it? It is hooked up and that's hooked up to the cable. This is the Avapow 6,000 amp, okay? And keep in mind guys, all three units I just showed you do not have a boost button. That's why we're performing this test, okay? Let me shut the car off again. All right. And obviously the top of the name brands, you know, like the uh, Gulu, the Hulkman, the Noco, the Fantic, they have a boost button. So, and also the cables on here. Let me, let me get the cables off of here. Get the cable off of here. Okay. Yeah, guys, this is the this is the Foxby G29 smart cables. These worked with the Avapow 6000 amp portable jump starter, and also with the amazing IM27 portable jump starter. These smart jumper cables worked in all three units. The same smart jumper cables. Okay. Usually I'm told they have to work only if they have a digital voltage meter on here that shows how much voltage is in your battery Because if it does not I mean if it just has Your basic, you know here. Let me show you if it has your your, your basic module This does not have a digital uh, readout But of any kind it just shows like red or green lights Yeah, so yeah, it was actually crooked. But yeah, this just plugs in and it'll show uh, the red light or green light. That's all the shows. There's no uh, voltage readout on here. But I'm told you have to have a voltage readout module in order for your cables to be interchangeable. And guys, I don't recommend, I don't recommend you putting your Fox P G29 smart jumper cables in the amazing IM27 portal jump starter. But this is only in a pinch. If your cables happen to break, you know what to do. You could, you know, take the cables off your Fox Speed, take the smart cables off the Fox Speed, and you could hook it up to the amazing IM27. Or you could hook it up to your Avapal 6000 Peak Amp. As long as it fits in these little, the half moon and the circle, as long as it fits in there, chances are it's gonna work. But they can't have a boost button, okay? And like I said before, the NOCO... Wait, actually, let's go check it out. Okay. All right. Yeah, here they are here. Yeah, you know, you got the, you got the Gulu GT4000. And you actually have this kind of connection where it, it just it wouldn't fit. But in those portable jump starters outside, you have the Hulkman. 8.5 and like this, you know, it's a different size. It'll never fit in those outside Same thing with the um, the Fantic 8 uh, T8 Apex it's got this, you know, it's got that kind of connection, so it'll never fit either and The Hulkman 10.0 It's got the wide connection here, so it wouldn't fit right even in the 8.5. It wouldn't fit so basically they want you to use their smart cables in their brand. That's what this is all about. But like I showed you guys in a pinch, if you had an issue and your cables broke on one of your units on the amazing I um, IM27, the Fox PG29, or the Avapal 6000 amp unit, the smart cables are all interchangeable with each other. It is not safe to do so let me reiterate that over and over again. Do not do this if you don't have to. 
okay? But if you come outside one day and you have a dead battery, try it. It'll work. I mean, it might take a couple chances to work, but it'll work, you know? And again, it has to be a, a the readout voltage meter module. You have to be able to see the voltage on there. For some reason, that's the only way it works. If there's no voltage meter reading on there, it's not going to work for whatever reason. I don't know why. Yeah, guys, so if you like this video, if you like seeing things that you don't uh, normally see, hit that thumbs up button, guys. It goes a long way. All right, and we were giving away a portable jump starter probably this week sometime, so look out for the live. Uh, we are going to be doing a live view, and we're going to be giving away one of my portable jump starters that I use in my videos, okay? So you have to be a subscriber, you have to like the video, and that's it. Just be a subscriber and like the video, okay? We're going to take away the share feature, okay? That's all you got to do. Be a subscriber and like it. And comment that's it just make a little comment you can even comment hey Mike how you doing all right so again I'm Michael with the H&M reviews channel click that subscribe button click all so you never miss an upcoming video shake your neighbor's hand guys peace out